I'm super excited about this topic because for those of you who know me, you know I love talking about food, any kind of food. I love it. And so today we're talking about snacks, but we're talking about healthy swaps for snacks. So why are we talking about this? Um, for those of you who have seen our other Facebook Lives, you've seen that um, Dr. Rappi and I, we've talked about so many different things. Like last week, we talked about hormone imbalances. So that is actually one of the biggest reasons why we are talking about this, okay? What is hidden in your food? Toxins, preservatives, added sugars, right? Those are all the chemicals, the toxins, that are in your food that cause that hormone disruption, like what Dr. Rappi was talking about last week. So there are some things we can control and that's what we put in our mouths. So um, I teach the wellness program, the nutrition part of our program, and I'm always asked about snacks. So I thought this would be a lot of fun to come on and talk about snacks. So give me a thumbs up or a wave or something if you are excited about today's topic about healthy swaps. And actually, if there's any snacks that you're hoping that I find a swap for, I'd love to make sure that I am talking to you and what you wanna hear about. So let's, let's dive into snacks. So the first thing is I always go to mindset, okay? We can't just talk about changing your food, making healthy swaps without diving a little bit into mindset. And why is that, you might be thinking. Well, in order to choose something different, you have to have a mindset that I need to do something different, that I'm open to doing something different. I'm open to shop for something different. I'm open to offering, thank you, Jacob, for the thumbs up. I'm open to offering something different. So it's really important that you have that mindset. And if you have kids at home and you're trying to swap out the snacks for them, get them involved. That's the best way to get your kids to try new snacks is get them involved. And that can be in the preparation, that could be in the shopping, that can be in any of it, just get them involved, okay? So mindset. Let's talk a little bit about what the most common snacks are. Does anybody have a guess for what the most common snacks, if you Googled it right now, what they would be? Oreos, M&Ms, I had to write this, Lay Chips, Kit Kats, Ritz Crackers. Those are the most common snacks. So do you think that we can find a healthy alternative for those snacks? Give me a thumbs up, a wave, a heart, if you think that we can achieve that. I know that we can, so. Um, all right, I wanna go through how I kind of organize the healthy snacks, okay? As you can see, I have a lot of packaged items here, and this is okay. I brought these items because I wanted to show you how you can find a packaged item, a, a kind of a swap for a swap. But really the number one recommendation that Dr. Rappi and I have for healthy swaps is, drum roll, single food items. What's a single food item? An apple is a single food item. The only ingredient is the actual item. It's not in a package with lots of different things. So that's our number one recommendation, okay? You're looking for a healthy snack, grab an apple grab an avocado, yes. Healthy fats and protein make some of the best snacks. It gives you a boost of energy, plus it gets you full longer, hopefully till your next meal, okay? So some other single food items, you have your nuts, your apples. I love things like you can do bell peppers or cucumbers with guacamole, you can Take your almond butter. I know it's not technically a single food item. This particular one just has sea salt and dry roasted almonds, so it's pretty close. Um, but you can put this on your apples. Um, let's see. Um, the other thing is if you have leftover meat, you can do that as well, believe it or not. 
You can make things like chia seed pudding. That is amazing. Has anyone here tried chia seed pudding? Making with a base of coconut milk, oh, it's delicious. And sometimes if you're, you want that pudding type of a texture and taste, it's really, really good. So that's the number one um, suggestion is single food items. Now, I'm gonna warn you about fruit. So fruit is good. If you are a diabetic, if you have insulin resistance, you do have to be aware of the amount of sugar intake. So basically, your body doesn't process sugar very well. So whether you're introducing it as a fruit, as a spoonful of sugar, your body still isn't processing it well. So for any of our diabetics out there, just be wary of how much fruit that you're eating. So just a little side piece. Okay. The number two recommended would be the packaged foods. So let me move my single ingredients out of the way and let's talk about some of our packaged foods, okay? The most important piece when you're buying something that's packaged is to read the label. Anyone that knows me, they know all I do all day long is talk about reading the label. And I don't mean where it says calories, cholesterol, sodium, no. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the other ingredients. It's the other ingredients that where they list the toxins, the preservatives, the things that you can't, um, you can't pronounce, you can't, the added sugars, that's where they hide it. So just because something says on the outside, it's gluten-free, it's organic, it is um, non-GMO, it doesn't mean that it doesn't have any of those toxins that we talked about, okay? So what I did was, these are literally things here that I have at home that I wanted to share with you guys. So who here is familiar with Siete brand? You gotta give like a huge thumbs up, a heart, something for Siete. They, um, they are one of my favorite brands for their chips, they even have, um, besides having tortilla chips, they have a great, the um, tortillas, actual tortillas, and they have taco shells, amazing. So if we read the other ingredients in these, so it has cassava flour, avocado oil, coconut flour, chia seed, and sea salt. So as you can see, and again, I'm just reading the other ingredients, so this would be a great alternative to other tortilla chips or even just potato chips in general. So this is an idea. Um, I know Jordan, these, love them, love them. Now, if you're looking for a treat, I don't know if anybody has tried these, but oh my gosh, these are dangerous to have around the house could eat the whole thing. This would be more of a treat. And again, um, let's see the word natural. Well, cyanide is natural, just saying. Okay, yeah, thank you for that. So again, it is looking at the ingredients. Now this one has agave syrup in it, something I don't recommend all the time. But again, if you are looking for a really tasty, healthy alternative for your kids to get them off of those sugary um, snacks with preservatives and toxins, this is what you want to do. And trust me, they taste so good. It's amazing. So these. And while I'm kind of in the chip category and what I like to call the crunch category, you can get things like this. Has anybody tried the plantain chips? Thumbs up for anybody. These are really good. Now, again, just because something says organic plantain chips, you want to make sure you're reading the, the label. So if I can find it on here, this one literally just has plantains, coconut oil, Himalayan salt. So this is really good. And again, I'm just so you know, I'm not sponsored by any of these brands here at all. I'm just sharing with you, you don't even have to find this particular brand, but what you want are the tools to know what you're looking for, okay? This is a great alternative, yeah. I know, Doreen, these are so awesome. The other thing that's kind of fun are these. I know these have been around for a while, and if you're just looking for a crunch, I mean, I know you can do nuts, but every once in a while you just want something a little more 
guess what the ingredients are in this? It's literally just organic apples. That's it. Now what's amazing is yes, you can make this if you wanted to, but every once in a while, let's say we're going somewhere, we wanna bring a snack because everybody else has a bag of something and you wanna have a bag of something to put your hand in and eat. So it's fun, there are alternatives. That's what I'm trying to show you, hopefully. Um, so this is yummy. There's a lot of other ones, but again, just for time's sake, I just wanted to show you my favorites. So one of the top items was M&Ms. Okay. I don't know if anybody here has tried the Hue Chocolate brand. Phenomenal. These are really, really good. And this particular one, um, I have sour golden berries. As you can see, I haven't even opened it yet. Either one of these, I literally had to hide these from myself so we wouldn't eat them and um, and just demolish them before the healthy snacks. And yes, Jordan, you're right. It's really amazing. If you take the time to look, there really is a healthy alternative. It is not, um, it's not like it used to be. So there really isn't any excuse because I hear it all the time. Well, my kids won't eat it. I have people visiting me. It's like, okay, fantastic. Show them some healthy alternatives that taste really good because it's always about the taste and then you're gonna change them to the healthy side. So, um, oh, yes, Jordan, lots of good favorites here, absolutely. So these are chocolate covered almonds and chocolate covered sour golden berries. That just sounded really good. So with these, again, reading the un other ingredients, what I love about this and what um, Hugh does with theirs is they say right away, there's no sugar alcohols, there's no soy, there's no sunflower, no dairy, no shiny glaze. So they really do a great job with their chocolates. And for anybody who knows me, I am a chocolate fan, absolute chocolate fan. So these are really great things that your kids are gonna love. And again, is this something you would eat like as a meal alternative? No, we're talking snacks here, snacks. And Karen, yes, you see all my simple meals here. I do love simple meals as well. So, um, but yes, had to bring out the chocolate. So talking, let's talk about simple meals for a minute. So all the alternatives that we're talking about you know, different that we're gonna talk about here, crackers and chips and cookies. So like the cookies, you can make them. There's so many amazing, healthy, paleo, like chocolate chip, macadamia chip, um, recipes that start with like almond flour, coconut flour, really, really great alternatives. And sometimes I like to make them, sometimes I want to buy it. Again, let's say it's for, you wanna take it somewhere. Maybe it's for the kids, you wanna wrap something or have something that's already wrapped. Then you can have them take one of these. Um, have you tried these? These are the soft baked almond flour bars. These are so good. Now it says bars on there. Now. So often people think of like protein bars. And so this is not a bar. I would say this is like a soft cookie. So this would be something really good. You can even pack um, for your kids. You can take, it's really, really good. And again, with Simple Mills, what I've liked is just how clean their ingredients are. Um, it took a lot of years for there to be gluten-free products that were really good gluten-free products and that they didn't hide anything on their label. Where's the label here? So you can see, they even have theirs big because they know people like me, I don't know if you can see it, but people like me are looking for the other ingredients. So often, you know, and the other products are hidden. You can't even find them. And then when you're looking at them, you don't even know what it says because it's toxins, preservatives, and all that. So here are just a couple of favorites. I have a couple of crackers. So, these are good. I actually just discovered these seed flour crackers because this one has always been our favorite, the almond flour one. But I found during COVID, it was just hard to find, so we tried other crackers. Now I have to say, just a warning for almost like all of these, is they're so addicting. I don't know if you guys get that. You start eating the crunch and it's like, oh my gosh, you know what? I've got to 
give myself a little portion, put it aside and have it. But again, if you're having friends, family over and you wanna have some crackers, these are really good. Like these almond ones, they literally, they're all ready to chew. Nut and seed flour blend, tapioca starch, cassava flour, organic sunflower oil, sea salt, onion, garlic, and rosemary. I mean, how fantastic is that? So, um, so those are my crackers. Okay, I'm saving this one for just about the last of the package because these are amazing. Can you see this? These brownies. So I've been eating gluten-free, using almond flour. I've been doing this for years, over 20 years actually. I have made so many paleo brownie recipes that were just horrible. They just tasted horrible. So when I found this, and yes, these are dangerous because um, I, I could eat a lot of them. And so these are delicious. You could literally make these for your, your friends, your kids. They won't know that it's healthy at all. So, so good. So that's just a little idea of some packaged snacks. Again, there's so many. I hope that you're getting um, the main concept of reading the label, the other ingredients. That's what you're looking for. Um, Karen, the cupcakes. Yes, they do have good cupcakes. Simple Mills is a very good solid brand. They have cupcakes. They actually have a, a bread recipe. I have never tried that. Karen, have you tried the, um, the bread recipe? Because I've never tried that one, but I imagine it's really good. So, okay. So we talked about some snack ideas. We talked about your single food items, okay? We're talking about just your apple, your avocado, your protein, just single food. Then if you wanted to find your package alternatives, that's fantastic. The third and last thing I'm gonna talk about is your beverages. Yes, your beverages. So there's always healthy alternatives to your beverages. Has anybody here made spa water? Oh, yes. Um, Karen, I have a box that I can't eat right now. <laughs> Is that for the bread? Yes, because you're in a stage in the program that you can't, good girl, but you can save that for later. Um, so beverages, what I love is water with fruit. What a great way to add flavor to your water because we all need to increase the amount of water that we drink every day. So a spa water that I absolutely love is your water with mint, cucumbers, you can throw in a little bit of ginger, and you can also make a water with berries, and there's all these cool little containers that you can buy right now as well. So the key is, and then obviously for any of our adults, um, there's lots of healthier versions of your adult beverages that you can make too. It all comes back to the very first thing that I said, mindset. It's about choosing and wanting to do something different. That's the key. It takes it all back to that. So um, I hope that I've shared some, some good snack ideas. I did want to say, so for Dr. Rappi and I, two of the number one snacks that we recommend to our wellness members is your protein and your healthy fats. Um, oh, Nicole, thank you. <laughs> yes, I have pink. I got my nails done pink this week and so I was inspired for pink. Thanks for noticing, Nicole. Um, so your protein, having your a protein shake, that is such an amazing way to add extra protein to your day. And it's easy and it's a great snack. And talk about like three o'clock where you're getting a little slumpy and a little tired. If you start eating any of these that has a lot of even natural sugar, you're not gonna get that oof, that lift that you really would like. So having a protein shake is a wonderful idea. Your healthy fats, the same idea. Your almond, uh, almond butter, all the nut butters really, and like your avocados, amazing. So um, also your, your leftovers. Um, we recommend having boar's head meat the sliced meat. And if you wanna take like your roasted asparagus and wrap it up, that makes a really cool snack as well. 
So I know I shared a lot of different things. I hope I shared something that speaks to you. If you ever have any questions, you can always message me here on Facebook or on Instagram. I'm happy to help. Food is my passion. I love to cook. I love to talk about it. I love to eat. It's amazing. And food really fuels us. So if we are all a little more mindful and conscious and aware of what we're putting in our bodies, it's such a great first step to taking control of our health and feeling better. So um, that's what I wanted to share of healthy swaps um, for snacks. I hope that everybody learns something. Um, if anybody has any, let me look at my timing. I think I got it all right in time. And I appreciate everybody who watched this live with me and um, who's watching this recorded. Again, if you want any kind of food ideas, and if you have something to share with me, I love when people share new um, ideas, new brands, new because people are coming up with new things every single day. It's about learning the foundation of what you're looking for. Not necessarily that you have to buy Simple Mills or you have to buy those brands, although I will say Siete and Simple Mills are pretty standard out there, but it's more about the concept. I want to do something different. I want to do something different for my kids and my um, my family and oh my goodness, I was waiting for someone to say about the Olipops. So that's a great alternative to sodas, a great alternative. I know out here in the desert, we've seen them at Sprouts. So for any of our soda drinkers, Olipops are amazing. And if anybody has anything else that they wanna share or a quick question, I'm happy to answer, but yes, Nicole, those Olipops. And you know what's fun is you can have fun with it. Make it a treat. I know that Nicole, um, they make it a treat for themselves and it's fun. Food should be fun and pleasurable and bring you joy. So it brings me joy. I love it. Um, so if there aren't any questions. I'm going to tell you a little bit about what Dr. Raffi and I are talking about next Tuesday. Cause for, as you guys know, we go live every Tuesday at 4.30. I appreciate those of you who joined us, me, today live. Next week, Dr. Rappi is going to be answering the question, what does belly fat and sleep issues have in common? This is a good one. You're not gonna to wanna to miss this. And then we have amazing topics for June because we're having a lot of fun with this. Um, we're getting amazing feedback. We know we're bringing value. We know we're helping to educate you that there is an alternative when you take care of your health. You don't just have to settle for how you feel. There's always something that you can do and we're here to help, we're here to support. You can find all of our contact information. But going into June, we're gonna be talking about some great topics. We're going to be kind of turning from some women topics into some male topics for June for Father's Day. But the first topic of June is gonna be why are we team protein? So there's a lot of controversy around um, protein and animal protein, and we're gonna do a deep dive into it, so you're not gonna wanna miss that. You're gonna wanna share it with your friends and family. And for that, I'm gonna say goodbye. I hope everyone has a fantastic evening, and thank you again for joining me here in my kitchen. Bye, everybody. <laughs>